This is Victory House. Um, I have been asked to lead. That's why um, people, people wonder, why do I think I am a worship leader when I am not a, a very good singer? But I have discovered, thank you, sir, that a worship leader is only a cheerleader. Amen? I'm not trying to minimize the role of worship leaders, but worship leaders are cheerleaders. They help us or they encourage us to worship God. Isn't that right? Okay. Praise God. I have, I believe I have um, clearance to preach two sermons today. <laughs> this is a deal. It's a deal for you. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> so I know you came to church for one sermon. <laughs> You're going to hear two by God's grace. <laughs> Glory to God. So before you start running out, I will try to make sure that we are out of here uh, um, on time. Amen. So, again, greetings from Pastor E. As part of the leadership team, um, I, I am well within my right to pass greetings. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to preach today. And pray for me, because I still feel that we, we may still need to sing. Um, so pray for me, so that I say just what is appropriate, and I move according to the movement of the Spirit. Amen? Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you. As we get into your word, we ask that you will give us ears to hear, eyes to see, and hearts to receive your word. Because it is your word that is able to save to the uttermost. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you wanted to title my message, I would say the equation. The equation. So that's part one. That's the first message. The second message is who gets miracles. <laughs> so help me as I um, uh, help myself by God's grace. Amen. So the equation, Luke 1 and verse 45. I'm still convinced media is the best and most hardworking department in this church. Although choir is closed there. It is closed. So choir, we appreciate you. Media, we appreciate you more. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Um, so the equation, and I'm, uh, I'm going to speak to you briefly uh, from... A book that the Lord gave me, um, I think it's 2014 that I, I wrote this book. It's called The Spirit of the Word. Um, recently, I was asking God, um, I need to preach another sermon. And I just felt on the inside of me, God telling me that I hadn't preached enough from this sermon that the Lord gave me. Because um, I remember when I wrote this book, I was re ready to move on to the next book. Um, but I feel... There's some stuff that I haven't exhausted. So if you've had some of this before, or if you have read the book, um, relax. You can still get something from this message today. Amen? So the equation, Luke 1 and verse 45. The Bible says, blessed is she who has received, oh, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promise to her. Amen? Um, give me KJV if you can. The Bible says, and blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which we are told her from the Lord. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. So my uh, someone today is uh, the equation. Um, from basic mathematics, um, I don't know about applied mathematics or advanced mathematics, but from basic mathematics, um, we were told that k plus k is equal to 2k, right? k times k is equal to k 
K squared. Yeah, I, I, I saw some people that didn't know what that was. K squared. So K minus K. Zero. That's my wife who answered. Thank you. <laughs> and K divided by K. One. Thank you. Where K is a constant. Thank you. So you guys have already heard my message. One of the things that the Lord told me when I was writing this book, as I was med meditating on uh, the content of this book, he said that an equation of two constants will always yield a predictable result. An equation of two constants will always yield a predictable result. Now, it is not lost on me that this month we're learning about the God of miracles. Amen? An equation of two constants will always yield a predictable result. Now, what are the constants? Luke 1 says, uh, Luke 1 verse 45 says, And blessed is she that believed, believed what? The things which were told her from the Lord. Amen? So blessed is she that believed the word of God. And the Bible says, For there shall be a performance of those things which God told her. Right? So there is a constant there. And we know from scripture that the word of God is a constant. Right? Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Jesus from John 1, we know that Jesus is the word of God. Amen? So an equation of two constants is... Or, or yields a predictable result. And we just went through the basic mathematics. So one of the constants there is the word of God. One of the constants there is the word of God. So constant one, the word of God, plus another constant, K, is equal to a performance of the things that they told him. We're going to, I'm sending you to math school. If you didn't like math, <laughs> I'm sure by the end of the sermon you'll love it. Amen? So what is the other constant? So solve for K. From the scripture, Luke 145, please put it up again. Solve for K. We know the first K is the word of God. The second K is dash. And the answer is... Uh, the performance of the things that were told her from the Lord. So solve for K. Anybody? Somebody? Ha. <laughs> Faith. Okay. I, I, I like those answers. Yes. Belief. Amen? Belief. Now, if we, if we use... I, I would like to differentiate between the belief state or the state of belief and the capacity of belief. So there's two things. There's the belief state and there's the belief capacity. Belief capacity is always variable. My capacity to believe may not be the same as your capacity to believe. And so oftentimes, we may not get the same results. You may get more than I, or I may get more than you, right? 